How's it going, everybody? My name's Eric, and in this video, we're going to be removing these old, crusty, soft golf spikes that are just crumbling apart. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project, and let's get into the video. The five-second answer to this tool is you're going to take a fork from your drawer that your wife is approving of, and you will bend it with some pliers to match the holes in the actual metal, not in the plastic, because the plastic is all uh, breaking, as you can see, and it makes a really good cat toy. And then you're gonna be using that to rotate it counterclockwise. And if that's all you needed, thanks for watching. But for the others that wanna see it step-by-step, step, let's get into the video. So I've already got my fork that I bent, and then I kind of bent it back, and then, you're gonna see which prongs match up to which holes, and you're gonna try to bend it accordingly. So I got the first and the third prong. You're gonna get them in these little metal holes, and you're gonna to wanna to dig the plastic or the glue or whatever that is out of those metal holes. So you're gonna press down with a lot of force and then rotate counterclockwise. And as you can see, it does come out. And once you loosen it up, you can do it by hand. There was some red Loctite on that, so it was kind of tight. But with this tool, we were able to get it out pretty easily. And if you're just trying to remove the plastic part and you need a tool, you could bend the fork for that and then just back those out. But these are so crumbly where I have to get to the next layer beyond and dig it out through the metal. And if your spikes are as disintegrating as mine are, it is easier to pry between the plastic and the metal to get that off before you try to remove them. So do those all at the same time. It's easier that way. So this is the finished product and the mess that I created. I did end up using a utility knife to slice in between the metal part of the spike and the plastic because my plastic was so mush it wouldn't twist it would just disintegrate so it was easier to just slice it with a zacto you could do that or if you don't have a zacto you can just scrape it with a fork or with some sort of other metal scraping tool and if your spike plastic is still intact you could bend your fork in order to twist it off that way but mine wouldn't work like that because they were too old and too crumbly too damaged Thank you guys so much for watching. I got to clean this mess up. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you did use a different tool or a different method, let me know about it in the comments section. I will talk to you in the next one.